Verbier is a world famous ski resort, and you might think that's been the case for a long time. But it's only in the last 20 years or so that Verbier's fame has really grown, and the development of the resort wouldn't have taken place if it weren't for the building of the dam at Mauvoisin in the Haut Val de Bagne, as Raymond Vaudreau, director of Bagne Electricity Company SEB, explains. It was a, a building very expensive, and without the construction of the barrage, never we can uh, have this infrastructure. When he was built, it was in that time the higher uh, dam in Europe. It's interesting to know that the train, who is coming now to Le Chable, in the beginning, the train was going just to Orsières. The track who came to Le Chable, it was built to the construction of the dam. And the train is still there because the barrage. Before Verbier, times were very hard in the region. Georges Dumoulin, from the village of Lortier in the Oval de Bagne, is now in his 80s and remembers those times well. Il y avait quelques hôtels à Fionnet après la guerre de 14 et puis il y a eu la récession les années 30. Hein? In the early 20th century, Fionnet was the tourist capital of the region. There were many hotels in Fionnet, but then after the First World War and then after the Depression, things began to be quite difficult. Some people would be going up to work in Fionnet, but other than that, there wasn't very much work. Alors, les travaux de mon voisin, il y avait quand même 2000 ouvriers dans les environs. Things became a bit better once the building of the dam started because there was work for uh, over 2000 people and lots of them were stationed up in Fionnet and Mauvoisin. Et alors euh, ben tout le monde avait du travail. Les gens d'ici faisaient encore la campagne et puis quand ils avaient trois semaines Ils pouvaient aller travailler quelques jours là. C'est comme ça que ça a commencé doucement, doucement. At the time, everyone had work, but they were still, of course, working on the farm, working with the cows. But when they had a few weeks off, they would go up and work in Fionnet and in Mauvoisin. And when the dam was built, the next big investment was Verbier. C'était les premiers développements en 50. Il y a eu le premier télésiège. In the early 50s, there was just one ski lift at Medron, and the commune decided to invest heavily in Verbier. What did people from here think about the fact that the commune was investing so much in Verbier? Eh bien, on était tous contents, en tout cas les jeunes, hein, d'avoir du travail. Parce que l'été, on faisait quand même la campagne, et puis l'hiver, on pouvait aller gagner quelques sous. Avant, il n'y avait rien. Voilà. Non, c'était bien. Hein? Verbier meant jobs for everyone. Again, there wasn't much money at the time. And now it meant that you could work your land in the summer and you'd have work for Tele Verbier or Tele Medron, as it was then, throughout the winter months. With initiatives like the Green Pioneering Summit, Verbier and the nearby resorts are trying to become more environmentally friendly. But Mauvoisin was producing green energy way before anyone knew what a carbon footprint was. All or electricity is coming from our barrage, Mauvaza or the other one in, in the region, because the electricity choose all the time the, the shorter way. But in another way, it's the way you buy your energy. We have more or less 30 person who came from uh, from green. We are changing. We wanted to show this Verbier on Commune de Bagne and the other commune of uh, Sogeza, Volège, Beauvernier and Saint-Brochet will be 100% green. If you want to find out more about the Mauvoisin Dam, head to your local tourist office or go to the website verbier.ch.